Okay, so today's lesson is going to be about copying and pasting uh, just to speed up your workflow. Did you know that you can have multiple Blender files open at once? So here is like just the knight, and here is just the armored horse. Okay, and by combining these, that is how I made this figure. Now, this is the figure that I am using for a chibi chess set that I'm making. And this is what I'm using as the White Knight. And the reason why it's on its hind legs is because I needed it to fit on a one inch space. Okay, but normally this would be like a two by two by one base figure. And just to let you know, this figure is free for you to download. There will be a link in the description down below if you're interested. Um, so why would you have multiple files uh, open at once? Okay, so here we have just a knight figure. And as you can see, I have it kind of rigged, not truly rigged. Um, I am using parenting so that, you know, when, when one part moves, uh, I can manipulate um, certain things about it to make him change his pose okay and I want to put him on this horse so all we have to do is go here press A to select all and we're just gonna copy and paste so control C uh, go to this armored horse and then control V to paste okay now we have both of these files in the same, I'm just gonna, you know, position him in a place where he kind of fits, like so. Um, and as you can see, all the parenting uh, still works. And here we have the cape, and as you can see on the right side, the it it has its modifier still intact. So what I can do is. Go here in edit mode. Um, I'm gonna turn on proportional editing. And then I'm just gonna press G to move and then move this kinda up. Uh, I don't know, maybe something like that for now. We can fix this later. And like I mentioned, this model is available for free for you to download, but I want to make some extra variations for my Patreons to be uh, Patreon exclusive. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You know, kind of like two birds with one stone kind of deal. So what I want to do with this one is make him make this look like he's uh, like charging with the lance. Okay, so here we're just going to grab this lance, copy, and paste, okay? And then, yeah, I'm just gonna make a little micro adjustments here and there to make this uh, look like he's charging with the lance. Like maybe he's jousting or he's you know running through some skeletons or whatever. So uh, you know what? Let's cue the music. Okay, so I am going to stop right there. I am pretty happy with what I have right now. If you take the time to learn like these kinds of skills, 
you can literally create an infinite amount of models with like infinite amount of combinations, right? Like I could have as easily, you know, take this guy off and then, oh my goodness. I could have easily like taken this guy off and then like here I have the, like the soldier. I could put this guy on there, right? I could even give like this sword and shield to um, the knight, right? The possibilities are actually limitless. And now I have this whole other uh, model that um, I can print out. Like this, you, you can't print this out because it's, um, because it's not ready for 3D printing. And if you're interested in how I would prepare this file for 3D printing, um, I do touch on it a little bit at the end of my cloth tutorial, so I'll put a link up top if you're interested in that and in, in watching that video. Um, but soon, when I get the time, I am going to be doing like a full start to finish tutorial on how I make uh, characters like this. And if you learned something or maybe thought, you know, this was pretty cool, you know, maybe like and subscribe. But either way, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.